Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a tree ornament, a snowman, like, yeah, I know, what am I doing here making like some positive doll uh, toy, um, but actually it's like a thing of ours to start collecting tree ornaments just to make sure that in a few years we have a collection that is really special and we can always remember like where we got this one from you know what year we made this one so it's just a thing so i thought i'm just gonna record this and show you you know how i made it i thought it's a very uh, interesting easy technique that a lot of people can like you know do a home with your family kids so here i have three balls made out of newspaper i use some tape to make sure i can um, get the shape of the ball to stay firm and not like fall apart once we're using the glue with the water mixture so here i'm just using the cotton wool with a bit of the glue and water mixture to attach the cotton wool onto the ball make sure you're using some water on your hands during the process because the um, cotton wool and the glue terrible sticky is just gonna be so hard to work so once you have one layer down you don't need to wait just go straight with more cotton so create a second layer just create bulk make sure you just keep working on it until you're happy with how it looks here I'm adding some uh, details so making his uh, legs or feet or like feet legs because they're so small so just making like a cone from the paper uh, from the cotton pad I'm using a cotton pad just because you've got the shape already of them being pressed you know like into like a sheet which is like super firm already it's just I found it easier to use a cotton pad for this rather than use the cotton wool here I'm just adding more bulk, it just it looked a little bit skinny, you know, like no one wants or likes a skinny snowman. <laughs> so at this point, like, I made a mistake, I didn't use water on my hands, so you can just see how bad it sticks to your fingers. So here I'm just showing you a little bit closer and more accurate how I did those uh, cones. I've actually put the pattern of the cotton pad inside you know you always have like a part that was pressed together which has them like lines or dots I don't want that to be visible um, so I'm putting that inside of the shape and here just using some more glue to smooth the sides and make sure the little arm just is really well stuck to the body just use your brush and your fingers you know to create some shapes you know if you if you want to use some other tools you can but you know I, I usually I, I don't like to use too many different tools my fingers and one or two tools usually do the job so just rolling some uh, cotton snakes <laughs> to try and uh, make a scarf for a little man to be honest this is the first time I'm doing a toy like this but I had on my mind for ages even since last year and it just I don't know just didn't go around to make it so I was so excited like I did all this work probably like under two hours uh, and then the next day once it was completely dry I've just added um, a little bit of the gold details which you'll see later on so here uh, usually after you put some cotton on the toy it might not be the perfect shape but once you you use the glue to soak the cotton it just becomes a lot more easy to shape and work with so i'm just using here a cotton pad just made like a little triangle apply some glue on the edge so I can actually make a cone out of it and we're just applying it on the head to make this pointy very exaggerated um, Christmas hat I'm 
I mean, again, this might not look like, you know, like it's cute and it's a snowman, it's not something that I do or, you know, as you, you've seen from this, uh, from previous videos on this channel, but I mean, I just see like that, you know, horror or macabre is a very, very wide range of things, you know, if something is antique, you know, if it's been if it's dusted and it's been in an attic and it's friends with the spiders or you know anything like that i like i consider that as being a part of macabre and, and horror and gothic as well so definitely a, an old christmas tree ornament is just like hello you know it's like love it so because I couldn't find any in my grandma's attic, I just decided, you know, well, to hell we need to make one. Um, which, and probably I'll make more, I really want a little sheep uh, with a Christmas hat. So if you have any ideas of what should be the next one that I make, just leave a comment, you know, I'll, I'll be really curious to, I'm really curious to find out what suggestion people can come up with. So once I made a shape that I'm happy with, I've actually put this in the oven at 50 to 70 degrees Celsius to dry. It did not burn as you can see, but I did check it regularly because like, you know, first time doing it, I don't know what the hell, you know, I didn't want it to burn. Uh, so here I'm just checking if those little um, balls, like his front buttons and stuff are and the scarf is, is holding well and just used a little bit of super glue to make sure I set a few because they were a bit wobbly. Um, actually the, the, the snowman wasn't completely dry, only like the top layer, but it took an awful long time for it to dry in the oven for some reason. And um, once the top layer was dry, I'm like, yeah, I can go ahead, you know, paint it, stain it mostly, like you can see here, I'm just using like a wash, you know, not diving with like full on colors because, you know, once it's on, you can't really wipe it off, so be gentle with that, but I'm being messy with the paint because it's like, you know, yeah, it's just like a, you know, as I said, it's just like a toy that I imagine that is like very old and is lived in the attic in a dusty box until now, so that's the look I'm going for, like, yeah, I love that. So here I'm actually using some, as you've seen for the wash, I used watercolors and this red, I wanted something a bit more opaque so I don't waste my time like coating so many times. And I've used some acrylic for that red and this green is watercolor, but my watercolors are super, super pigmented. They're actually really good professional watercolors. So you kind of get a lot of color straight away. Um, if you don't like wood colors, you can just use like a wash made of um, acrylic paints, so that's fine as well. Why I didn't wait for the snowman to completely dry, just so I'm gonna use my paints with lots of water, so that's gonna get soaked in again and become wet, so it, it didn't really matter, as long as it was a bit dry so I can like, you know, hold it and um, work on it. it, it was fine. I absolutely love when the arms and legs are like like completely black and then it kind of just um, fades into the, you know, into like a gradient sort of thing. Like I love that, I just think that looks so macabre. Here obviously I've lost my uh, my feel of the frame so my face just gets in but it's all right um, i'm still really really learning how to record correctly i've actually forgot no no i didn't forget my um my camera just uh, died so you didn't see in the video how i've actually made the nose but i took a um wooden little thing like a match but it wasn't a match how do you call it? it was a toothpick yes and i used that and just kind of just took some cotton wool and just rolled it onto it and then poked a hole put it in secured it with some super glue and that's how we got the nose actually i thought it's too long at some point but then i thought you know like hey carrots are super long too so it's all right i absolutely love the nose actually it's got the tip like really like 
real like sort of thing I don't know uh, this is a metallic gold um, paint that I'm using is actually acrylic that I'm using to add some details on their little guy this is actually the second day I left it to dry overnight on the radiator but it was at the setting of like really low about like 18 19 degrees so it was like a very low heat and you dried like perfectly overnight so that's like i think i'm recording here like something like midday the next day so like nearly 12 hours to be honest yeah i think about 12 hours did it dry so it took a really long time i mean you know the amount of glue and water is insane that went in it so as you can see here i added some gold stripes on the scarf some dots on the hat and i made the fur parts of the hat in gold as well i just thought it looks really vintage like like that you know an antique you know like back in the day people just used to love gold as a detail you know they i mean for the details so i just thought like that looks a little bit more old school this is a uh, loop from floral wire that i'm just like you know, trying to poke it it's not going anywhere <laughs> so i'm actually using my exacto knife to cut a little bit and then just putting some super glue and attaching it on its back that's why we're gonna put some ribbon so we can actually make a loop and use that to hang it on the tree i mean i'm absolutely in love with this anyways if you're gonna make this with your family or your friends or you know your little child will want to make something like that definitely let me know why you did and how it worked out for you it's it's really simple just just do it you know you'll love it and you'll have a, a nice tree ornament to remember years later here is some backstage photo situation is my husband he's taking the good photos not me Merry Christmas, make sure you enjoy, it's only once a year. I did really love making this video for you, so if you did love watching it, please consider to subscribe and leave a comment below with your suggestion for what should be the next tree ornament I should make. I'm really like voting for a sheep, so if you agree with me and you wanna see a sheep tree ornament, just comment that or whatever else you think I should do. Thank you so much and have a really good Christmas.